first, congratulations to Georgetown. Uh, great fighting spirit, great, um, great game. Uh, also very, very proud of our fighting spirit. I, thought, I think you saw two teams out there really going for it. Questions for the student, please. Describe the, uh, the back and forth of this match, um, uh, the, the goal scoring, uh, the opportunities, and then ultimately having to go to, to kicks to decide it. Yeah, I bet it would have been enjoyable to watch as a neutral. Um, yeah, I think, you know, with such a short turnaround between the two games, I think, you know, that kind of sets the game up for a lot of transition. Uh, and that was especially in the overtime, so. You know, seeing it go to penalties wasn't that surprising. Um, obviously, a tough way to lose, but you know, you can't really be proud of the the effort that the team put in. And obviously, Georgetown got the win today. And you know, you kind of sign up for this when you when you start playing soccer. Is it goes either way. So tonight, it didn't go our way, but nah, it is what it is. Colin, the defense has been so sound all year and has had so few breakdowns. Do you feel like the three goals and regulation were came on just great plays by Georgetown or were there uncharacteristic breakdowns? Um, I mean I mean, you can't go against the facts. I mean we got scored on three times today. Um we were a bit of unfortunate on most of those plays and I mean it's definitely um, a case for the quick turnaround with guys fatigued and just um, just mental breakdowns here and there, um, myself included. Um, but yeah. Dale, yeah, were there any adjustments, uh, particularly in the second half, to try to get the ball at your feet more, whether it was dropping deeper or coming wide, or, or making some adjustments to get you more involved? Um. I mean, I think we knew coming out in, into the second half that we were going to have like a little bit more of the ball, and we knew that we were going to be able to push because obviously we're down. And I mean, wherever it was, I would try and put myself in a position to get the ball. I try and put whatever, put myself in whatever position it was to help the team and, and put the team in the best position. So, I mean, same 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 way in the first half, honestly. Joe, you mentioned that you weren't surprised to see it go to penalty kicks, but I'm guessing you were surprised that the top two defensive teams in the country allowed six goals in 90 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I think that was surprising. Um, I mean, both of us, I think we we only led in nine in the season, and they were at 11-2, so, yeah, I think, you know, as I said before, I think you have to you have to put that down to the, to the turnaround, I think. I mean, personally, uh, you know, that second half, you're very fatigued, it's tough. So I think that does open up, you know, the chance for mistakes a lot more. Um, yeah, so 3-3 three, three was, you know, an interesting scoreline. Uh, <coughs> but I think it gave you a bit of insight into into our team as well, coming back from, obviously we were up by one and then down 2-1 and then bring it back to 2-2 two, two and then eventually 3-3. Three, three. So, you know, we talk about as a team the, the will to win. And I think tonight was a... <clears throat> a perfect example of that because I think you know when you play in the final four especially in a championship match and you go down it is tough there is pressure and you, you know if you don't you know step up and score goals then that's your season done so for us to take it all the way to pens I mean as I said you can't really be proud of your team you look around the locker room we looked around the locker room and we came in just before and obviously disappointed but that's not really the point at the end of the day you know the memories that we made throughout the year uh, was the big picture, and I think you know it's going to be tough now, but we're going to look on this with with fond memories, and it's been one of the most enjoyable years of my life playing soccer. Uh, so sorry, I'm a bit off from your question, but <laughs> but yeah, no, you see, I think you know that's the point of soccer, and that's the point of you know collegiate soccer is it's going to prepare you for the professional game, and hey, as I said before, it is what it is. But yeah, three goals was tough, but I'm sure it would have been enjoyable to watch if you were a neutral fan. Yeah, this is for Coach. Uh, regarding the... We'll have any more questions for student-athletes. Any more questions for student-athletes in the back? Yeah, Daryl, when you kind of 
think how this ended, but also just the trip that y'all have had to get here. How do you put this season into context, just what this team has been able to do? Um, I mean, honestly, I just think it, it shows how far <laughs> we've come. I mean, you don't see very many teams go into a season and at the very end of the season be able to say they lost two games, got to the final of an NCAA championship, won the ACC, which is arguably one of the harder conferences in the country. So, I mean, it does suck that we got that the turnout was not in our favor but at the same time if you look back at the season there's so many things that we did and it's it's just going to be a, it's, it's something that we're going to have to learn from but at the same time we should all be look at each other and be happy with how the whole season turned out in all honesty Colin just Colin just Oh, there it is. Colin, um, sorry. just thinking about, you know, this is the last time you're going to be on the field with a lot of these guys. Um, kind of what does that make you feel and, you know, how – what do you take out of this season? Um, yeah, I mean, that's just the way that it goes at this level. Um, I mean, this is the last time we'll probably see Robin um, for a while, but um, – the way that these guys have come together this season, like Joe said, like this was the most enjoyable season I've ever had playing soccer. Um, and the memories that we've made, like it's been one one incredible season. Um, and we can't, we can't be, we can't be, I mean, we're obviously disappointed we didn't win, but we can't be disappointed in anyone's effort or anything like that. And everything that these guys have put in, like it's been one incredible season. Okay, we'll ask Coach to stay. Guys, yeah, George, could you talk a little bit about the shootout and how typical or atypical was it and just your thoughts on, on that aspect of it? Uh, it was, you know, not too many go go to, you know, six or seven rounds. Um, they both teams both teams took some pretty good pens. I think each keeper had a kind of a half chance at one uh, of those of those pens. That's how well they were taken. Uh, so, um, you know, it, the times that I've won in pens here, it's never gone to you know past five. Um, so, I think you saw two teams prepared and, and for, did a pretty good job at it. Yeah. Georgetown seemed to be able to capitalize on Robin's departure. How yeah. how big a storyline did that turn out to be? Not having him. Yeah, um, gosh, you know, uh, to, to be to be fair, you know, we poor, poor Aaron James got thrown into a really tough situation. I mean, the, the game was super transitional at that point. You know, both teams were going for it um, in the closing minutes uh, of the game. He probably wasn't fully ready because it happened so quick. I mean, he, he was warming up, but really tough position uh, to, to be put into. Um, and, you know, a mistake happened. Um, and the, the, to Georgetown's credit, they capitalized on it. You've been on both sides of these shootouts now, you know, on this stage. Yep. What's it like as a coach? It's kind of out of your hands at that point, yep. isn't it? What's yeah. it like watching that? You know, all you can do is, is, is prepare and get, get really good at taking pens. And uh, traditionally, we've, we've been really good at in, when we get to this phase. Um, and we made six today. I mean, I, what else can you ask for from, from a coach? Uh, you know, that, that your first six guys that take their pens nailed them, you know. Um, uh, so there's, we were prepared, they were prepared, and you know we, we missed the last one. So you know, there's not real much much else to say about that. Any more questions for coach? We'll go over there. Yeah, George. Uh, besides Robin going off late, mm -hmm. how much was fatigue a factor? It looked like Joe, for example, mm -hmm. really looked gassed at the end, and I never see him showing fatigue in a game. Yeah. I mean, the game became tra a pr pretty transitional, more than most. And you know, Joe talked. Joe talked about fatigue being, you know, the, the reason for the goals. I mean, I, I would say yes. Um, but I would also say, you know, when when we scored, they scored, they scored. This thing became a different animal. This game um, became a different animal, um, and it was a two teams now now going for it. You know, instead of like protecting yourself, two teams just just punching each other. Um, and that, that when you have those kind of 
back and forth transitions is tiring, especially when you play Friday. Um, you know, we, we didn't make as many changes. Um, they, they made a heck of a lot more changes. I actually think we stood up better uh, physically from a physical standpoint uh, with, with fewer guys. Coach, only the first time since y'all had just two losses in a season since 2001. So how do you put this team into context? You've called them better than those two teams that won a national championship yeah. all along. So how do you put this team into context? One of the best. I mean, it's hard to say now. You know, we, we didn't finish with a national championship. And when you do finish with a national championship, there's a lot to, a lot to be said for that. Uh, but it's, it, you know, j these guys talked about it. Um, a, a special group, not only in the results and the wins and the, you know, the, the ACC championship, uh, a share of the regular season ACC championship, the number of wins, a, a top seed in the, uh, in the NCAA tournament, which is the first in, uh, for, for me and, uh, here as a coach. Number one in the country. I mean, we kind of checked every box and fell short of the last one. Um, and uh, we fell short in a, in a very, very hard way. But on the flip side, I've, I've been on the winning side of those two. So, you know, when I wake up the next day and the next day, it'll get, it'll get a little bit better and easier for me to answer that question and reflect on it. But I'm, I'm so proud of the guys. One more question for Coach. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much, Coach. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs>